Okay, so maybe the fork try is going to work on this video. This replaces format external drive for Linux, comma, GPT dash legacy or UEFI, which had terrible audio. Um, I have a better microphone, better machine. The audio is much better. Um, this is a drive I, I started to do, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is create a GPT partition table. Now we're going to add a FAT32. Then we need 500 megabits. swap. I like to make it just a hair over 8 gigabytes. If you got it, use it. If you don't want a Linux swap partition, sometimes you don't need it. Oh, nobody will need it for that. Now we're going to add a couple of I'm just gonna, yeah somewhere 32 to 36 gigabytes is way more than enough I like to give it a name well not a name sorry a label name screws things don't change the partition name mess things up just use a label I'm going to call this R for root but it doesn't have slash R in it when you install it. Just mount it as slash. Make your home whatever size you like. And this is where you'll mount slash home when you install. Okay, so this is now going to be set up to have two different Linux partitions. This does not work, GPT does not work for Windows at all on a legacy machine. Only BSD or Linux. Okay, oh, well, fine, I made it the whole last of it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. For this you make it whatever size you want. Now we apply that. For some Linuxes, you can go as low as 10 gigabytes, although I don't recommend recommend any lower than 20 gigabytes for for root. Um, Cause home can be any size you want. Um, I'm letting this 
go through so you can see the various steps as it goes through it and see about how long it takes um, because if it takes a lot more than a couple of minutes there's a problem okay all operations successfully completed close now here's the critical part making this UEFI or legacy manage flags if this is going to be UEFI you click on boot and it also automatically adds ESP so it looks like that with the flags this is now ready to go for a UEFI system however if I want to use it on a legacy or CSM or BIOS all meaning the same thing you change it to BIOS grub and now you see the flag at BIOS grub and this is ready to go a slightly different is what I'm using on this system I'm using the same um, distro on in two different partitions this one has Nvidia drivers but it's very slow to boot up because of Nvidia drivers this one has Nuvo drivers I use this 99% of the time and it's so large because I have VMs Kumo or Kimo or however you say it QEMU um, <coughs> and so I made that larger in fact I had to increase it and by having it this way it was easy for me to expand it and, if, and I've left this in case I want to have another distro slapped in there for testing but I can expand my home into it or I can expand this into it this one becomes a little more difficult to expand um, you'd have to move this over and then expand it but that gives you an idea of a different slightly different way of doing it and obviously this is on a UEFI machine so there you go multi-boot Linux external drive that's an external drive um, can also be used the same procedures for an internal drive this is an SSD HDD is the same thing and other than that little alarm going off this is um, done